Come bless the Lord, come bless the Lord, draw near to worship, praise the Lord, and bless His name, His holy name, declaring His good. Come bless the Lord, come bless the Lord, draw near to worship, praise the Lord, and bless His name, His holy name, declaring
again I say, 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 rejoice, 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 Hallelujah, nothing like the joy of the Lord. We rejoice today in your presence. Hallelujah, but in your presence there is fullness of joy. We receive it today. We receive it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that you come among us and receive our praise. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. That's why we live. We live to give you all the worship that you deserve. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. To worship you, To worship you, God, now.
is how I fight my battles. This 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 is how this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my This is how I fight my battle. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. If we fight the battle his way, then we win. You're guaranteed. 
a victory. When you fight the battle his way, it's guaranteed that you will win. It's guaranteed that you're a champion. It's guaranteed that we have victory. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the battle is yours and not ours. This is how we fight. We fight in worship. We fight in your word. We fight in prayer. We fight in unity. We fight our battles, hallelujah, for you in the kingdom. Glory, 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 glory. This is how. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here. Amen. The Lord is good to us. And we are grateful. Amen. We thank him for another day. And, and, and it's cold, but it's still pretty. Amen. 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 We're laughing with uh, Shirley Tutt a little bit. She, uh, she wasn't feeling good. And, but uh, if, if anybody knows anything about Shirley, she carries this big bag and everything is in it. I said... I said everything is in it. You know, we, if we have an ache anywhere, we just go to her. I, and I asked her, I said, she said, well, my shoulder was acting up real bad. I said, well, you know, you, you got the bag, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so that's why she fell out up here, because a prophetic word hit her life. So, <laughs> but we're we glad she's doing all right. Amen. Uh, keep praying. God is just moving by his spirit. We're going to hit faith some more today. Amen. Amen. We're going to talk about it some more, and we're going to believe God some more. Anybody have some, just, just by a show of hands, something good that, that hit your life this week and, and that was beneficial? The Lord bless you. Operate in faith someplace, and it showed up. Amen. Amen. That's not enough hands. After this lesson, lesson some more hands are going to go up. And yeah, yeah. That's a faith statement, too. Amen. 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 And I think the song, This Is How I Fight My Battle, was right on target for some of us. Amen. Amen. It's right on target for us. Uh, again, we, well, I'm not even going to address it um, because we talk about the same thing over and over again. Uh, but uh, uh, we're we, we just, we just going to believe God, amen, that he amen. takes us to every place that we need to be. And I'm always praying for, for uh, healings because... So, Many times that's the first rung of attack that the devil does with us is in our bodies. Amen. Amen. Because he wants to stop us from functioning. Amen. Amen. And so and then you end up thinking about only you and you can't focus on anything else but you. Amen. Amen. So but we're going to get all that taken care of and we're going to believe and we're going to walk it on out in faith. Amen. Amen. And believe God for it. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 we are uh, just so many things happening this week and I know what the news is all about, but let's keep praying. Let's keep praying for our government. Amen. Yeah. And that, that, that I, I believe in the scripture that said righteousness exalts. Yeah. And so let's keep praying for righteousness to be exalted in every way. Amen. Yeah. We pray for even our president, our, 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 our representatives, our Senate, uh, uh, as, as we go forth and, and, and operate because so that we can live as Christians a peaceful life. So yes. we, we intercede for them and, and, and pray uh, for the leadership above us. And, and certainly you pray for pastors, but, but pray for everybody. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's receive special music at this time. Thank you. 
my call, you are my morning song. Though darkness fills the night, it cannot hide the light. Whom shall I fear? My strength is in your name, for you alone can save. You will deliver me. Yours is the victory. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Oh, I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. Nothing formed against me shall stand. Oh, you hold the whole world in your hand. So I'm holding on.
Hallelujah. Whom shall I fear? We have angels' armies all around us. Whom shall I fear? Amen. You ready for the word? Everybody with your Bibles in your hand. Repeating after me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. This book calls me an overcomer, and that's who I am. Today I shall be taught the infallible, unchanging word of God. So my mind is alert, my heart is receptive, as I gladly receive the word today. I believe that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for this series and this time in faith. We thank you that we do walk by faith and not by sight. We thank you that we can wait on our faith to manifest for us. And we thank you for the victory we have through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We ask your blessing now in a special way. Bless our Bless our doing, and God, we thank you for everything that you're allowing in this hour, in this time. So we come against every stronghold, every assignment, everything that the enemy wants to send to stop us and block us from getting to what you have for us. And we have free course in this land through the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, take us where we need to be. Help us to speak the mind of Christ. by faith and today is lesson three and the title of today's lesson is faith your servant faith your servant faith your servant faith your servant I'm going to principally stay in one scripture area I'm going to dot out to give some supporting scripture but it's going to be just 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 one uh, don't don't put them up until I call for them don't put the scripture up until I call for them and and pursuing what even what we talked about last week we're going to hit that a little more and then we're going to move into the next phase so each lesson will will, will really overlap so there's not a break this, 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 this is, is going to overlap because faith is interconnected. The lesson is interconnected. Everything is, it's, it's like a train. It hooks to something else. And that's the consistency that God draws in the word of God in, in certain subject areas. And faith is one of those subject areas. Amen? When you speak believing God will do something for you, Faith goes to work. When you speak believing God will do something for you, faith goes to work. Remember that I said last week, and this was a powerful point to me, is that Abraham was considered righteous because he did what? Because he believed God. So you are considered righteous when you believe God. So as you are a believer, you get righteous. You ain't, you, see, that blows our mind on what we think makes us righteous. We think it's activities and acts. But if you believe God, you're righteous. If you believe his, his word, because inside of his word is obedience. So when you say, I believe God, I believe him enough to obey. So, so once you start believing on God, then, then you settle the mat matter of, it, am I in the right position to receive? Does that make sense? Yes. See, because sometimes we can't receive from God because we always think we're guilty of something. You are, but get righteous, good, but believe yourself into a right position. Yes. Amen. Go on and for get forgiven, forgive me, and let him cancel it out. The only person that's going to remember it is the enemy. 
He always going to bring it up because it's in his memory. But God says he throws it in the sea of forgetfulness. Come on, come on. So, so don't walk around in condemnation and, and unforgiveness and all those things that try to drag you down, to keep you on a cycle of, of, of not being quite uh, 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 up to snuff or up to where you can receive something from God. God wouldn't set it up that way. He set it up so you would benefit from the plan. Believe I'm right. I believe I'm right. Not, I believe I'm always right. That's not the one I'm talking about. I believe, so therefore I'm right. Does that make sense? All right. Faith is the servant that is doing the work. Faith is doing the work. You can rest because your faith is working. Soon you'll see what you're believing for has been completed. Now, if you if you if you operate in, in, in a less than a mustard seed measure of faith, it may take a minute for it to start moving. If you're not used to operating, see you have to build up in your operation of faith. It's it's like like little conquests help you get brave enough to believe for more. He'll get you to the end of the month. That's a little conquest. Yeah. Th then he'll get you to, to oh, I, I made it through the whole summer. Yeah. Then he'll stretch it to a year. Like then it may just disappear altogether and you say, oh, be that's better than the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you know gone is better than the end of the month? Yeah. <laughs> How many of you would rather see gone? Yeah. But before you get to gone, you got to get to the end of the month. Come on, come on, come on, help me out. Just, just, see, see, the devil tried to dissuade this one, but this one is coming full force. Coming full force. See, because why do we get stuck at the end of the month is because that's, we got an end of the month. Really, it's a middle of the month <laughs> mentality. And if you stay there, it'll keep working that way. I never have enough to get past the middle of the month. I never have enough. Well, next month when it happens, you ought to play your own video where you prophesied over your February in your January. See, you think it's the devil doing it, but it might be that tongue of yours that you might need to tie down and muzzle. I saw a dog walking, and I'm not calling you a dog. Don't say that. The owner was walking him through the neighborhood, and obviously he wanted them dogs that, 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 that won't do right. He had his walking gear on him, but he had a little strap around his mouth. I said, you're not a good dog. You a bad dog. And your owner, sometimes you need to strap it down. You're the owner of your tongue, and you need to strap it down so you say the right stuff. You have to train yourself not to speak your circumstance, but rather your promise. See, and we think it's religious to be complaining. And then we make songs about it. I'm going to. And sing and shout and fall out. Why you just fell out? You just made yourself depressed. I'm climbing high mountains trying to get home. What? Why? <laughs> if, 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 if somebody said, y'all got to climb in my, oh, how high is it? How far do we have to get? We were on a, on a cruise ship. This is not a brag. We were on a cruise ship, and Jarrell was with us. And uh, all of us, you know, they got certain activities you can do on this ship and stuff. And, I, and so thank you, Jill, Jarrell, for letting me uh, use him. Um, or Gerard. Jarrell. Or Gerard. <laughs> yeah, I. Of us were just watching this, this, this wall. You know, they got 
all the little things. It was his, I'm just going to say it. He was blessed. It was his first cruise. So he, he got every corner of the boat from the front to the back. Come, you know he geeked. He was just tore off, fly. Well, we just watched him fly from one end to the other. It was a surfing thing. He was on that on the water trying to stand up. I said, ain't no way. And then there was a rock climbing wall. And uh, uh, I just stood on the bottom and watched people climb up and down. And I said, hey, man, hey, man. I said, ain't no way I ain't getting up on that. <laughs> well, didn't he grab the rope? And when I looked up, he was up on the top ringing the bell. You know that he, and then he climbed back on down here. See, some people can climb mountains, but the most of us cannot. <laughs> you don't even want to go up a rock climbing wall. You just stand at the bottom. You know what? I want to tell y'all, just in case you don't believe, there is still victory standing looking at the wall, standing on the bottom. You got to climb nothing unless you want to. You think it's mandatory that you go through something all the time. You won't have to go through it if you tell it to get out the way. See, that's religious mentality. And when your ears are turned off, you're distracted by looking at something else rather than hearing the word so that when, 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 when problems come, then, then you, you're crying and you want to call people. When, when, when the word is going forth, now, this is the best therapy session happening. It's happening at this time. This is the perfect therapy session. This handles depression. This gets over guilt, gets over shame, gets you into the place of promise, gets you to a place of progress, gets you to a place of victory in this one therapy session. In these few minutes, But go and pay the counselor. Now I'm starting to tell people, you want to see me outside of church? This is, this is my sliding scale. See, you'll pay for what you listen to. You'll listen to what you pay for. But as long as it's free, it's cheap. And irrelevant. Anybody that gets stuff free all the time, they never treasure it. That's why you can't deal in a cheap grace. Oh, God. Everything God does for us is costly. Oh, but let me get back on the lesson. God, God, leave. Luke 17, 5 through 6. This is part A of this lesson. And I'm not quite at 12 o'clock. God is good. Amen. Luke 17, 5 through 6. And it says there, And the apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. See, that was the level of their understanding. They thought that the Lord needed to increase their faith in, in, in that they didn't understand about the measure. And, but when he explained that they understood what increase was about, because he gave them a qualitative amount to measure it against. Okay, let's go forward. And the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. So the Lord said, everybody say, so the Lord said. So the Lord said if you, say that, if you, if, you, if who, you, who, me. yeah, if you have faith as a, it can fit on the top of this pencil. That's how small it is. Here is your measure. Here is the mustard seed. It's so much power in the tip of this pencil. The seed on the tip of this pencil. Are you listening? Are you focusing in on me? On the tip of this pen is this much power. It's evident in this verse. He said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, 
you can say to this mulberry tree, be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea, and it would do what? Obey, obey who? Amen. It would obey you with this much. Never mind about what could this do. What would this do? I'm just saying, I don't know how big the measure is. Maybe God only gave us this much, but that's more than enough for your lifetime. Take this measure. Give it to Emily. Pass it to Carolyn. Pass it to, to, to Dora. Dora, you pass it to Jan. Jane, you get up and pass it to Lou. Get up, get up, get on up. <laughs> pass it to Rose. Pass it to Lynn. Get up and give it to Lynn. Get, uh, <laughs> pass it to Helene. Pass it to the woods. <laughs> now, one of you woods bring it back to me. know why I gave everybody the same amount is because that's what God did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't pour it out between Laurence and Emily. I'm only going to give her this much. Laurence got this much. Emily getting this much. That's a clappable place. That means. Tap somebody say, nah, he love you as much as he love me. Doesn't that make sense? Because God wants all of us to lead a gate. Oh, y'all act like y'all know something. <laughs> Go home and work on your own message. Amen. <laughs> Every believer should want to increase his or her faith in the measure that you've been given. She all right. She all right. She, 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 she might be coming up here to get a measure. Number one, number one, faith increases by hearing the word of God. The fact that I'm, I, I'm, I'm standing here teaching this today, you're increasing. Everybody say, thank you, thank you. Thank you Pastor. You're increasing. Let's write this down. You can go no further than the words you heard and know. You can go no further than the word that you hear and know. I put it in the past tense, but I'm going to put it in the forever present tense. You hear and know. You can go no further. So you got to hear something and know something to do something to get something. Oh, my God. You go no further than you know. Ooh. How many of them power through the word because you know a little something about the word? And that, that, that kind of reconcerts which way you're going to operate with something because you, you know a little something. Some of y'all that got toe up, you're so proud that you know something, you're just crazy with it. And what you know is not just anything. It's not out of your flesh. It's out of the spirit. John, well, Romans 10, 17, you ought to know that by heart. So then, faith come by what? Hearing. And hearing by? First. Yes. Come on, come on. Let, let, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Then Jesus says something to us in John 6, 63. 
Well, the word is spiritual. It is the spirit who gives, and the flesh profits nothing. See, everybody keep dealing with your flesh all the time. That's all you have at the end of the day is flesh. And you're going to have less and less flesh as time goes on. I'm looking at my grandchildren. They're gaining flesh. Once, once they were so little, I could throw one under my arm and just tear it like this. Now I have to hold with two arms. I was holding Lou, and I was sitting in the rocker because when I get tired of them, I put the, put the poppy rock down on them <laughs> and start rocking them, and, and I hold them real tight so they get fidgety. They try to get loose and kick and stuff. And I put that rock down on my side, I say, and I hear Risa singing, Rock Steady, baby. <laughs> I don't know what she was talking about. I was talking about my grandkids. But I, I, <laughs> come on up, come on, come, uh, back up. Here. Come on back into the house of the Lord. Now, come on, stay on your, don't fall off. So while I'm rocking them, they end up going to sleep. And I, and I was talking to Lou once. See, I said, I remember when you were this big, I could just, probably could just do this and, and kind of take and, and rock and, you know. And now his feet way over onto the other chair. But I still put that thing down on him. I, I said, because I need a break and it's nap nap time. <laughs> I did it this past Monday. Knocked both of them out. That's what, there she, she fell out too and I wasn't rocking her. <laughs> Everybody had a nap nap. <laughs> John 6, 63 said, It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Then he goes on to say, period. Say period. period. In case you think all this profit. When I say you, you're going to have, the, when you're young, you gain more flesh. But as you get, you know, into adult years, you get to your peak flesh time when you have, then, then as, as life changes and you hit the other life cycle, you have less flesh. Oh, anybody know I'm talking right? Yes. You got you got less flesh. Yes. You shorter. <laughs> Lou was standing next to me the other day trying to mess with me because he's a lot taller than I am now. And, and I used to be so much taller than him. So he liked to make mockery, you know, but that's all right. <laughs> it's a seed thing, you know. And, 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 and so I just stand on the step. <laughs> let's, let's accommodate. You know? Amen. But, the po but the point is, it's less. So the flesh profits nothing. So God says, use the flesh as your house, but use your spirit as your everything else. Yes. Did you get that? Because if you just hang with your flesh, you're saying that my mind is always going to be good. My legs are always going to be good. My knees going to always be good. My everything going to always be good. Some of y'all say, mm, hmm, because you. My scream going to always be good. <laughs> it goes on to say, the words that I speak to you are spirit. And they are life. See, you're more spiritual than you natural. Everything God, God is a spirit. So he made you more spiritual than you are natural. You accomplish more. The word is spiritual. It accomplish more than you ever will in the natural. Oh God, oh God. Are, are y'all there? Two. To increase, you must act on what you heard. See, we're in the day where people have overheard the gospel till it has rendered them just void. I heard that before. Pastor better not say that scripture one more time. If I hear Romans 10, 17, one more time. If I, the word is spirit. 
And then you get in the spirit, you hear something fresh in it every time. Come on, come on. Because you know why it'll be fresh to you? Because your situations keep changing. And once it, 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 it attaches to your new situation, you say, aha, I know what that means now. See, you can say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. But you go through something, he takes you through. You say, the Lord is my shepherd. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Faith comes out of the inner man, not the mind. Not your thinking. The mind has to be renewed by the word of God. Just write down Romans 12 and 2. It has to be renewed by the word of God. That's the only way to get your mind changed. And do not be conformed to this world, flesh, but be transformed spiritually by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You can only know the perfect will of God through the Spirit. Whew, it's good teaching today. Number three, faith must be sown as a seed with love to increase. Remember, faith works by uh-uh, faith worketh by. Come on, come on. That was last week. Y'all got an X on that question on the test. Faith worketh by. Now, everybody know the answer. Love. love. If you don't love, your faith is stymied. Because God is love. You need to be loving. Don't let anybody hate you out of your faith. They're going to keep you mad all the time, yeah. acting unlovable. Yeah. You acting a fool and they acting a fool. Faith works by love. You sow in action to get increase. Those were the three points. Now we're moving on. You will say, using a mustard seed amount of faith to the mulberry tree, be pulled up by the roots and cast into the sea. You can only command things with with your speech. You can do more damage with your speech than you ever could with your fist. Faith knows what to do as soon as you say something. And the reason why it doesn't know what to do is because you have not given it an assignment. Your faith wants to take you somewhere, but it also has an assignment. It needs an assignment. What are we looking for? What are we working for? Well, you say. You will say to the assignment, the mulberry tree, be plucked up. That's the assignment. Poor mulberry tree, it wasn't doing anything to anybody. But it's not about the tree, it's about what the tree represents. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let me tell you what the mulberry tree, it's a powerful tree, it's a fruit tree, but the fruit is so fragile, it's not good for, 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 for uh, distribution. The, the, the skin is too tender. That's why you don't go into your Kroger and buy mulberry berries. You can't get them. But the people that grow them, they get them when they, they ripen, they fall off the tree, and so they eat the lusciousness of the fruit. It's the leaves of the mulberry that makes the silk scars and garments that we wear. They're valuable. But the mulberry tree can go very high. It can, almost, it can also be a bush. But here's the one thing about it. As high as it is, it's about three times that deep in root structure under the ground. So when Jesus said, you shall say to the mulberry bush, you shall say to something that's deeply rooted. <laughs> oh, you ain't getting none. Though. I'm going to throw these because y'all acting on me, acting like you, you getting something. You will say to something deeply rooted, pluck yourself up. And be cast over into the sea. Yeah. 
Some of y'all got deep-rooted stuff, but you looking at your phone and you on your computer and you need to get something that's deeply rooted. It, it looks like it's producing a lot of fruit on the, on, on the top, but under, underneath the root structure makes it bound and stationary, so you're stuck in. But God say you can say to deeply rooted underground stuff, A few weeks ago, God said, he told me, he said, just start preaching about faith. Deal with it personally, and then deal with it with the church. I said, there's something that's <laughs> faith stuff. Get that a root of stuff out of you. Something deeply rooted. I said, four more brothers, but you wasn't doing anything but standing there. And then the disciples said, increase our faith, and you tell that tree to get up. Because it was something about that tree. He was looking at the root structure of that tree. Just like one day he looked at a fig that wasn't produced yet. Fig tree. And, and, and just like with Jesus speaking faith 24 hours later when he came back through again, it had withered and died. And then the, the, the disciples knew that Jesus had cursed that tree. And he didn't get to the tree, and he didn't go over to the to the to the to the to the fig tree and just go slapping it. Die, die. Y'all go hacking away at people. Just die, just die. Just look at you hacking away at it. No, he just went to he spoke to it. And when they came back, they they thought, what? Twenty four hours represents the time that it takes for your faith to work on some stuff. Whatever that period represents. Thank you, Lord. I, that wasn't even in the notes. That's for sure. But when you come back, it's been handled. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody holler, handle it, Jesus. Handle it, Jesus. <laughs> See, I'm trying to get you past your downtroddenness yeah. and your disappointment yeah. into the revelation of the promise. Faith knows what to do as soon as you say so. It becomes your servant based on how you operate with the word of God. The word of God is legal to faith. It's legal to faith. And faith is legal to the word of God. Hebrews 4 and 12 says, For the word of God, and this is 412a, the first part, for the word of God is living and all of you that finally looked up at the screen. It's living and powerful. powerful. Say powerful. powerful. See, you got you carrying around something, or you won't commit it to your heart something. That's so powerful. Faith is a spiritual thing. It is from God. It is his operation. All material things need spiritual things for their existence. I'm going to let you know something. The moment your spirit leaves your body, your body falls. The moment we try to keep people alive with machines, we got the heart machine on and the breathing machine, but there's no brain activity because there's a lingering. But the moment ain't nothing happening in that body, they don't know the body has already fallen. I know there's times when, when the person comes back. That's God. That's okay. He brought Lazarus back, so that ain't, that ain't special. That's God. Come on, come on. But the moment that spirit leaves, and remember how God made it. Let's do it in reverse. When he made man, he was just a lump of clay. And he blew into him. 
Oh, come, come on, huh? And he became what kind of soul? That, that dirt jumped up and went to walking. Wow. Wow. And when you die, it happens just the reverse. Whoa. Are y'all there? And you don't have control over either process. That's why when you think your flesh is all of that, you are out of your mind. Because you can't control when the spirit going to leave you. And you live it like it's yours to control. What you cannot do in your natural strength, you can more than do by faith. All right. We coming on around the bend. Last part of Luke 17, 7 through 10. And I'm going to read it, New King James. And it says, now this is Jesus after they said increase our faith. They got the mulberry bush illustration. You should say all of that. He, he did all that piece. He said, but now I'm going to give you a, a double impact to that lesson. So you understand what faith is. First he said, with this level of faith, you can do this. But now I'm going to tell you how faith is supposed to operate as your servant. That's what this second part is about. And which of you, having a servant plowing or tending sheep, will say to him when he has come in from the field, come at once and sit down to eat? But will he not rather say to him, Prepare something for my supper and gird yourself and serve me till I have eaten and drunk. And afterward, you will eat and drink. Does he thank that servant because he did the thing that was commanded him? I think not. So likewise you, when you have done all those things which you are commanded, say, we are profitable servants. We have done what was our duty to do. Okay, let me explain. Y'all like all those be thou and that do it. Gird it. L let me speak it in, in plain language. You have a servant who comes in from working. Is everybody listening? Yes. Would you take that servant's coat, set a table, then say to him, sit down and eat? No. You would more likely say to the servant, go prepare dinner. Go prepare dinner. Change your clothes. Pull off your work dust. Because you got to serve me. You got to look like you work for me. And wait table for me until I finish my coffee. Are y'all there? Yes. Then go to the kitchen and have your supper. Does the servant get special thanks, thanks for doing his job? No. Because he's the servant. It's, the, it's what's expected. You don't have to thank the Holy Spirit for doing the, 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 your faith expression for doing its job because it's your servant. Yes. It's what it's supposed to do. Jesus tells the disciples the same is expected of you. What's expected? You to operate like you got sense with your servant. It's your servant. And you say, I have faith. All you're doing is say, sit at the table with me. But you're not giving him nothing to do. Instead of saying, get up, get out into that kitchen and fix my dinner. But as you go, clean yourself up. 
I think you all almost get it. Then it says, when you have done, dispatched your servants, what I wrote in my parenthetical note, in parentheses, dispatched the servants, it is what's expected of you. What you did with the servant is what is expected of you. What the servant does is what you told him to do, but what you tell him to do is what is, is expected of you to tell him to do. And he don't do anything because you don't tell him. And you underuse him and misuse him because you invite him to the table instead of telling him to go to the kitchen. Because religious people, you don't have to do nothing. Just come on. God will supply. And you shall say. You'll say. You'll say. You'll say. You keep looking to people to supply everything for you. You say. <laughs> then, 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 then the word says, the work is done. Whose work? Your work. It's done. What work? Dispatching the servant. That means God is not expecting you to do the work. Y'all, y'all, y'all keep work it out, <laughs> work it out, pick it out, work it out. And shouting about working. Tomorrow is Monday, and most of you dreading it already. <laughs> Talking about work it out. Can I get a slight amen? amen. Some of you retired. Some work you got to do. You don't want to do that. But you'll sit up in church every day, work it out. I'm going to take my time. And you work it out till you're out of breath. Nurses coming and fanning you and wiping off, sweating. You're just, you just working it out. The work is done. All you have to do is say. Now, this stand is not one of laziness. It's one of believing. God, I'm going to keep walking until I walk into what my faith went after. I ain't lazy. See, see, see faith assignments overlap. Why you believe for one thing, you can believe for something else, too. And believe for something else, too. And believe for something else, too. Why are you fixing my bills? I want you to bless so I can give to this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jan is part of my faith assignment. When, when, when I take care of my stuff, God, I want you to help me so I can do this for her. And so that, that she can get enough, she can, she can look over there and see, see uh, 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 Lindy and say, say Lindy, I, I know you got nice things, but you know God just said do this. For. See, it ain't about what they got. It's about what God tells you to do. See, we keep looking at people think that I give to them, they don't look like they need something. Who told you to base it on their need? God doesn't bless you according to your need. Because if he did, everything would be. You bless according to your faith, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> did y'all get that today? And, and, and then, then, let me finish this out. What we were told to do, we did. What were we told to do? And you will say, and you will, and at the end of one say, and the start of it, and you will say, 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 say. To whatever it is, be uprooted from your deep-seated place. 
and be cast in the sea. The reason why the sea is there because it represents something broad and vast. Send it into something deep enough to handle it away from me. Blessings to you today.